We've all dreamt of hitting that mythical monster drive, and in the world of professional golf, some players have come pretty darn close. The desire to swing for the fences is something that all golfers can relate to, even the best in the world. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the biggest, baddest, and most awe-inspiring driver bombs in the history of the sport. Some of the mind-boggling distances on this list may astonish you, as these incredible feats of strength and skill are truly the stuff of legends. Davis Love the Third, 476 yards. Kicking off our list is Davis Love the Third, who unleashed a jaw-dropping 476-yard drive during the final round of the 2004 Mercedes Championship. This impressive shot took place on the 18th hole of the plantation course at Kapalua, a 585-yard par 5 that is known for its challenging layout and its demand for accuracy and power. Love's monstrous drive set him up to make an easy birdie finishing the tournament in style. Kapalua has been the site of hundreds of 400-plus yard drives throughout the course's history, as you will see later on, with the strong surrounding winds often giving the golf ball the extra juice it needs for the extra long distances. Jeff Sluman, 473 yards. While Jeff Sluman might not have been at the top of the leaderboard that often, he was one of the longest hitters on the PGA Tour. His colossal 473-yard drive during the 2003 Bob Hope Chrysler Classic certainly warrants his inclusion on our list of bomb drivers. Sluman's astounding shot took place on the 14th hole of the PGA West Stadium course. The weather conditions played in his favor, with strong tailwinds working to his advantage. As he stepped up to the tee box, few would have predicted that the unassuming Sluman would unleash a drive that would be remembered for years to come. Charles Schwartzel 450 yards. While Charles Schwartzel's 2013 Open Championship performance was a disappointing one, there was one highlight from it worth remembering. During the third round, Schwartzel was 5 over heading to the 15th hole, a 448 yard par 4. With nothing to lose, he stepped up to the tee box and bombed one down the middle, avoiding the bunkers on the left and rolling all the way to the green. His shot was so long that it bounced right through the group in front of him that was putting on the green as they watched it to come to rest within 20 feet of the flagstick. Schwartzel's impressive tee shot set him up for a tap-in birdie putt. Justin Thomas, 457 yards. In 2019, Justin Thomas captured the attention of the golf world at the WGC Mexico Championship with an astonishing 457-yard drive that showcased his immense talent. Thomas's remarkable shot occurred on the 10th hole of the Club de Golf Chapultepec, a challenging course located at a high altitude just outside of Mexico City. The elevated location of the course has made it a hot spot for long drives, as the thinner air allows the ball to travel farther with less resistance. Oh, that should be very good, Karn. Oh, look at this. We got something going. That's Come gonna, now. It's going to climb to the top shelf. Rory McIlroy, 436 yards. The Northern Irish golf prodigy Rory McIlroy requires no introduction, as his success and accolades in the world of professional golf speak for themselves. In 2014, during the Aberdeen Asset Management Scottish Open, McElroy etched his name further into the annals of golf history by crushing a mammoth 436-yard drive that left everyone in attendance speechless. This unforgettable shot occurred on the 13th hole of the Royal Aberdeen Golf Club, a par 4, 436-yard challenge that is notorious for its undulating fairways and strategic bunkers. With raw power, incredible swing speed, and unparalleled precision, McElroy sent the ball soaring over the fairway, ultimately landing it on the green. Bubba Watson, 424 yards. Bubba Watson's unconventional swing may be a topic of debate among golf enthusiasts, but its effectiveness is undeniable. In 2014, during the third round of the WGC Bridgestone Invitational held at the Firestone Country Club in Akron, Ohio, Watson showcased his extraordinary power by smashing a drive that covered a staggering 424 yards. Oh, did it, it did, ever. Billy. Oh, my it did it goodness. just right. It's going down that far hill now. 
This remarkable shot occurred on the 16th hole, a lengthy par 5 that measures 667 yards and is nicknamed the Monster due to its formidable reputation. The weather conditions on the day of Watson's iconic drive were optimal, with negligible wind interference and comfortable temperatures. He launched his drive down the center of the fairway that caught the downslope and ended up almost reaching the group in front of him. Gary Woodland, 450 yards. Gary Woodland's 450-yard drive at the 2012 Hyundai Tournament of Champions is a remarkable display of the power possessed by modern golfers. This extraordinary shot took place on the 18th hole of the plantation course at Kapalua in Maui, Hawaii, a lengthy par 5 with a downhill slope. Woodland's exceptional strength and perfectly executed swing enabled him to send the ball rocketing down the fairway, etching his name in the record books. His impressive tee shot led him to making a birdie on the hole and a strong finish to his first round of the tournament. Dustin Johnson, 489 yards. Dustin Johnson's astounding 489-yard drive at the 2018 WGC Dell Technologies match play, though not officially recorded on camera, is an achievement that cannot be overlooked. This incredible shot was executed on the par 5 12th hole of Austin Country Club, a course known for its challenging layout. Johnson's exceptional swing speed and strength, coupled with favorable weather conditions, allowed him to achieve this staggering distance. Tiger Woods, 498 yards. Any compilation of long drives simply must include the iconic Tiger Woods, who stunned the golf world with an astounding 498-yard drive. We return to the plantation course at Kapalua once again, this time for the 2002 Mercedes Championship. The par 5 18th was playing downwind during the second round, and these favorable conditions along with the hole's downhill slope enabled Woods to achieve this remarkable feat. Louis Oosthuizen, 500 yards. Though Louis Oosthuizen's astounding 500-yard drive at the 2013 Ballantines Championship was assisted by the cart path, it's a feat worth mentioning, as it would still technically belong in a list of longest drives. The ball seemingly had a mind of its own, as it took nearly two minutes bouncing and rolling down the cart path and finally stopping not too far from the hole. Unfortunately for Oosthuizen, he was only able to muster up a par for the hole and unable to really take advantage of the extra yardage. Mike Austin, 515 yards. Another mammoth drive from golf history is credited to Mike Austin, 64 years old at the time, who hit a 515-yard drive at the 1974 National Seniors Open Championship, the precursor to the U.S. Senior Open. Austin's drive on the 450-yard par 4 at Desert Rose Golf Club in Las Vegas was aided by a 2,000-foot elevation above sea level and a 35-mile-per-hour helping wind. Carl Cooper, 787 yards. Technically speaking, the longest drive in PGA Tour history is Carl Cooper's 787-yard drive during the 1992 Texas Open. Cooper's tee shot on the third hole hit a downward sloping concrete cart path to the right of the fairway and ultimately traveled 787 yards before stopping behind the 12th green at Oak Hills Country Club. While we may not have much footage of Cooper's legendary shot, it's still worth a brief mention for its extraordinary distance. So, there you have it. The best of the best professional golfers have launched some truly monstrous drives that are almost hard to believe. Have you ever hit a drive that felt like it could rival the pros? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of your favorite golf content. Thanks for watching.